Hey everybody, it's your coach Dave here. It is almost six o'clock on this Thursday night, heading into Friday of Labor Day weekend. I know so many kids are heading back to school this week. Some are in school. I know my daughters start school next week. But I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick message today about seven things that I've learned about that some things that are so simple that can help um, <clears throat> bring more happiness into our life immediately that can work right away so I figured let me come on and share this with you and share this message with you and if you think if it's of value or you think somebody else you know you want to get more happiness in your life right away absolutely absolutely share this video so number one I'm gonna go through like seven things give a little background on each number one is to meditate now I'll be honest like I was reading about this science proves that your your left prefrontal prefrontal cortex which is the part of your brain that's responsible for happiness actually starts growing and and starts performing better when you meditate now I'm not saying I can tell you right now I'm not a person that I struggle with my mind is always going but they say if you could just take five minutes a day that's it and just focus on your breathing and if your mind starts wandering to bring your mind back and focus on your breathing that after five minutes you'll have a sense of calm you'll feel a sense of happiness a sense of um, a sense of um, a sense of happiness, a sense of joy, and a sense of calm come over you because science proves that in when it comes to your left prefrontal cortex of your brain, you in fact are going to feel more happiness. So meditation, something that I can be honest that I need to, Kristen says we need to be doing this, I could in fact probably work on that. So that's number one. The second thing is you need to find something in your life that you look forward to. Now, it doesn't need to be something next week. It even can be something a year or two years out. But if you were able to write something down on a calendar and something that you're able to look at, something that you're able to see that you're doing, even if it's something as close as something you're doing this weekend, write it down and have it a place where you look at it or have it in a place on a calendar or talk to your family about it. But when you have something, in fact, that you could look forward to, it immediately brings happiness because if you think about it, we get excited about something we can look forward to, we feel more happy. Number three is to commit acts of kindness. I have read many times over and over that if we're feeling down and we're feeling depressed or we're feeling strung out, helping somebody and being sincere and helping somebody an act of kindness will make you feel happy. And I think right now with everything going on with um, Hurricane Harvey and what we're seeing going on in Texas, I see so many friends and people are donating items and donating money. And when you're actually doing that and committing an act of kindness or volunteering or helping in your town and helping people, you feel better as yourself. So committing act of kindness is number three that can bring happiness into your life. Number four, infuse positivity into your surroundings. I love this. Like, who are you surrounded by? What are the TV shows that you watch? Do you constantly watch the news over and over and over again? Because if you're constantly, all you do is listen to the news and watch the news, if you think about it, I know we need to not be out of touch of reality. Like, we need to know what's going on. But if it's your life story and all you do is listen to something like the news, if you think about it, it's all sensational stuff of death. A, of trauma, of all negative things. So you got to infuse yourself with things that you read. Maybe it's Facebook pages that have like there's a there's a Facebook page I follow on positivity um, that I absolutely love. It's the people that I engage with. Today I spoke on a um, not spoke. I had a phone call with my success partner and my close friend Scotty Hobbs, and we focused on positive things in our life, and it just lifted me up and made me feel happy. Or just your friends that you hang out with, or you know the things that you're focused Focusing on you need to infuse positivity into your surroundings maybe it's you know you know for the ladies certain flowers you want in your house maybe it's landscaping maybe it's something you can have in your yard infuse yourself with positivity the next one guys is exercise now this one this one I preach over and over, day in and day out. It is science that endorphins go off in your brain and serotonin and dopamine and all these things go off in your brain that fire the cylinders that make you feel happy, make you feel confident, make you feel less stressed. For me at this time, I exercise so much more for the mental 
the mental well-being of what I get and the perks with that than it is for the physical benefits, which are the byproduct of exercise. I need it for my own mental sanity, and I need it because it sets my day right. I do it in the morning, and I can say the feeling of how I feel after my workout far outweighs that extra 20 minutes of sleep that I want. Why? Because I get a taste of it every day, and I know how good I feel. But just a little bit of exercise will set your mind right, and it's something I think everybody needs to focus on. Next, guys, spending money but not on stuff. If you, They say that if you're buying things that are just materialistic things, so you buy yourself a, you know, you know, just a new outfit or you buy yourself a new watch, it's not going to bring sustained happiness where if you were to spend money on other people, if you were to even now again with Hurricane Harvey, we can use this as an example, when you're donating money and you're spending money on something that is other than you, spending money on something that's going to help others, that's going to give long, sustained um, maybe happiness for them or you're helping and you're being significant in someone else's life, not just on uh, uh, something that is short-lived, which is stuff, it's going to bring happiness into you. So I love when I, when I read about spending money but not on stuff. Another one, guys, and I think this is the last point I have because I wrote him down that I took away, is, is exercising a, sing, uh, a signature strength of yourself. All right, so exercising a signature strength in yourself. We all have strengths in our lives, right? Some people are good at sewing. Some people are good at, you know, um, you know, arts and crafts. Some people are good at scrapbooking. Some people are good at cooking. Like, what is it that you're good at? We all have strengths as human beings. Leverage your strength and do that. It's something that will make you feel happy. I'll tell you right now, for me, doing this video and sharing with you guys and speaking and when I speak at events and when I spoke in front of the 25,000 people and when I have to speak in a couple of weeks at our next event in the end of September, for me, speaking is something that I enjoy doing. It's a strength of mine and it makes me feel happy because I feel like I'm making an impact. So whatever it is, whatever your strengths are in life, what is the strength that you have? Because that will, again, make you feel happy as something that you can absolutely do right away. So if I was to give you a quick recap of areas that can bring happiness in your life, that like right today, right now, right this second, if you're feeling down, you can do any one of these things, it's going to help you. So number one is meditation, right? To find time to meditation. Number two is find something to look forward to, no matter how far away it is or how close it is, Find something to think about to look forward to. Number three is committing acts of kindness. I love that. There's no better time to do that than right now. The next is to infuse positivity into your surroundings. Okay, that's number four. Number five, exercise. You know I'm all about that. All right. Number six is to spend money but not on stuff. Spend money on areas that you can make an impact on on or for other people. And the last one, guys, is to exercise a signature strength. I think each and every of these seven things that I gave to you guys, you could absolutely do right this second, right this moment. It doesn't matter if you're 12 years old or you're 95 years old. There's nothing better when you feel happy because it is proven, and what I have learned, and what I love about what I'm reading right now, is that so often we think that, that by well, so often we think in this world that we need to just constantly grind and be depressed and be stressed out to be more successful. And they have found that the happier you are, the better you will be as a person, the more energy you will have, and the better you will have, a better chance you will have at reaching your goals or whatever it is that you want in your life. So focusing on areas or these seven areas of happiness can help impact your life in more ways than you probably could imagine. So I hope this video is of value to you. Um, if you're watching it live on my YouTube channel, please please give a thumbs up and share it with people that can be of value or here on Facebook. Please share this video. It's always about each and every day. Like I say at night, actually what I say to myself at night, when I put my head on the pillow each and every day, I always say, did I add value to somebody today? Did somebody, did I message somebody privately today? Did somebody message me? Did I make an impact? Did I share something to be significant? Because in life, it's not about the things that you have, but it's about the lives that you impact. It's how you will be remembered. People do not know the car you drive or the house that you live in or the bottom line in your bank account, but people remember how you make them feel. And I think that's so important. So that's my goal each and every day to strive is to make people feel better no matter where it is in their aspect in life. So so I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday night. I'm going to head inside, get ready for some dinner, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.